Uh, hello again, my friends, and welcome to another episode of uh, Awakening uh, Journey, Remembering Who We Are. And this is uh, part two with uh, my dear friend and a great guest, uh, Karim al -Kusa. In the previous episode, we talked about uh, Karim's uh, uh, journey of awakening and we started digging into really interesting uh, topics. If you just popped in, I would like to tell you that Karim is a, a great, famous uh, Lebanese and international author. Uh, his interests are in history, in religion, esotericism, in philosophy, and lots and lots of things. So he is a great inspiration and insight uh, to us. And Karim, I want to thank you because in the previous uh, uh, recording, Karim shared with us for the first time and this is for the good of people, of all humanity, his own personal story of awakening because the energies are now ready to start sharing this with everyone so that people understand that this is real and it's going to start happening to each and every one of them. Karim al Kusa, thank you again. Thanks again, Nadine. Thank you again. So, uh, Karim, would you like to add anything to what I just said, or um, shall we? No, I just want to say sorry, sorry to the audience because I lost electricity here in Lebanon. It's uh, it 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 always happened on Lebanon, so in here in Lebanon. So in uh, sorry yes, about that. and 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 this this rings well with Karim because he wrote a book called uh, Pythagoras the Mathematician. So. Oof, he ended in a theatrical way, perhaps. It was intended. It's like, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No worries, Karim. Uh, what you represent, the, the knowledge you represent is very important. So let's continue. We started with a very hot topic. There are so many topics we could discuss with Karim, but I'm trying to select a few. Uh, we discussed the Ananukis last time and we talked that there are lots of conflicting information at the current time. And Karim said that um, the Ananukis, according to him, but there are other stories, are what are called the fallen angels that came, that were jealous uh, from yeah. uh, humanity, how they we got the chance to be. But Karim, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, how we got the, the, to experience this form, experience in form, okay? And then from form, we're going to experience going back to unity. And this is something that hasn't been done before. This is for the first time we, we go into this test. So, uh, Karim, and, and you mentioned something very important. You talked about the DNA. They changed something in our DNA. Ha, and this is very important. Can we talk about that? Because there are lots of topics. The scientific evidence shows that we have lots of junk DNA. We are using how much? 5%, 7% of our current DNA, and they call the rest. Yeah, not that much. Yeah. Dormant junk uh, DNA. And the codes that are coming now to Earth and things are being said about reactivating our DNA which is being done in the ether, the energy bodies of us. So, Karim, what can you tell us about this? So let's continue about the Ananuki stories. And and are they related to Baal Beek? And what can you tell us about this? Yeah, so the Anunnaki are the, according to my perception, are the fallen angels who descended upon Mount Hermon here in Phoenicia, uh, and then they were expelled out of Phoenicia and they suddenly appeared in Sumer. They were expelled by Enoch and the good angels. Uh, and because one of the fallen angels, one of the 20 leaders of the fallen angels who appeared on Mount Hermon, his name was Ananil, which is, uh, uh, it, uh, he's equal to Enlil. Uh, and you can also see the similarities in the name Ananil, Enlil who led the Anunnaki in Sumer, and they started to enslave uh, humanity there. And they played with the genes because they want uh, humanity to be dumb. How to enslave humanity? By put them in a matrix, you know, by changing the, um, 
the their DNA that is already uh, planned by the divine will uh, to reach divinity through a laboratory called the Earth. So the good angels and the evil, the fallen angels, uh, they were working on in the workshop of Earth. So Earth is a workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a school. It's a school. And, yeah. Yeah. So exactly. So the fallen angels, I wanted to. to Instead of humanity, that's the that's what they want. They don't want a human to become divine, as in the biblical terminology, Satan doesn't want humanity to become divine. Uh, so this the same uh, the same logic. Uh, you feel it in mythology and, and in religion. Karim, and this this uh, rings Baalbek, the bell. Baalbek yeah. has. Mm -hmm. Baalbek has nothing to do with the Anunnaki. I mm -hmm. mean, there are a lot of misinformation in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of misinterpretation in the world. Some people want to attribute Baalbek to no, they're not. It's not uh, according to the to what I know is Cain. Cain who built uh, uh, Baalbek, and the original name of Baalbek is Enochia, because mm -hmm. Cain is the son of Enoch, and Enoch in the book of Enoch is is said to have been instructed by Archangel Uriel in the art of masonry. So. Basically, uh, whoever built Baalbek is received the knowledge of masonry from the angels, from the archangels. Whether you call those archangels celestial beings or cosmic beings, that that depends on your understanding and your interpretation of the of the book of Enoch. So obviously, we understand that civilization was somewhere up up there, and then it dropped, fell, and then now it's like going back, rising back again. And yeah. uh, the, the the description you gave about the the uh, Ananukis who altered the humans' genes, they didn't want them to use all their potential to reach out their divinity again, to put them in a sort of matrix let's say box there are two matrices now one divine matrix that connects us with everything and what shall we call this one the 3d matrix that puts us in a box this description yeah. that is like that it kind of reminds us of this the elite few who are governing earth now is there a exactly. correlation with the these exactly. ananukis are they incarnating again with us or are they sort of influencing humans in here what is, what do you think yeah yeah the idea of world the i mean the world uh, new the new order the world the new order uh not you Ancient, and so, you know, and it's related to the Anunnaki's plan uh, to, uh, to I mean, to to create a, a kind of a halt uh, for the journey of the humans to become divine. So they don't want this to happen with the humanity. That's why they enslave them and they put them uh, uh, away from their potential. Uh, smart DNA from their potentialities to become divine. And Jesus, I mean, the the uh, the uh, Jesus when he came to Earth, he came on a mission to just uh, liberate humanity again hmm. and uh, help humanity to walk with God once more, as did Enoch before him. So it's, um, it's we're the gonna same go mission. there. We're gonna go there now, and and some of the new discoveries are even showing that Jesus came before as perhaps Enoch or perhaps Horus or perhaps we don't know about that. So many people came to awaken people. So as you said before, exactly. there are the good angels trying to help the, the the ones who want us to reach our divinity, the others who don't want that. So. Uh, Let's now dig into Jesus, and as you said before, in esotericism, and you had your uh, your uh, spirit uh, teacher, the the guide, the priest who guided you in yeah. esotericism. Now your journey in the the holy books and all how Jesus, and why did you write Jesus the Phoenician? I mean, who is Phoenicia? Who are the Phoenicians? Let's begin with that. To begin with, and why did you choose that? Shall we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the idea of Jesus is very interesting. Always, it's, it's a fascinating uh, 
story to begin with. And Jesus uh, is is a Christ. The Christ consciousness is in Jesus. So he came here to to provide us with his consciousness. And it's following the uh, the same uh, the same uh, sacerdotal line, if you want, the same uh, uh, ancient group, Great White Fraternity, started with Enoch, continued with Melchizedek, with Hiram Abif, with Pythagoras, and Jesus. So it's a uh, it's a, uh, and they were marked by by a special divine mark to lead the human and humanity to understand uh, who they are in reality as as uh, divine uh, humans. Uh, so the, as Pythagoras said that man, uh, humanity is a smart evolution uh, of the animal, of the animal kingdom of earth. And divinity is a smart evolution of man. So the idea is, is how to you develop yourself, how you uh, become more uh, aware of who you are in reality. Um, and, uh, and Jesus is here on earth just to sh just to lead us uh, toward the truth. Since he said many times, um, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the light. Um, uh, what he did is he did here, uh, he came here on earth to, to help humanity by even going further, showing to the world that he can sacrifice himself uh, for the good uh, of people, uh, because he actually believes that there is a resurrection. So the idea of of uh, resurrection is not uh, the ancient uh, theological concept that existed in Phoenicia. Uh, for example, Adam uh, dies and resurrects in April, and we uh, as Christians celebrate uh, uh, resurrection of Jesus in April. And Jesus resurrects after three days. It's mirroring the Phoenix resurrection after three days from his burnt ashes. So these are the sons of fire, the sons of light. Uh, light. Uh, they call them they, fire. Yes, they are light. They came here on earth because... Yeah, so... Uh, so the role of Jesus is to is to sh is to show us the way that we somehow forgot as a, as a humans because of of many things that happened uh, mm -hmm. during our process and our evolution here on Earth and and I believe that uh, um, now Jesus the Phoenician is is an academic work that proves that Jesus was Phoenician uh, um, not Jewish. Uh, because we have so many evidence not only connected to, to to theological ideas, but also geography helps us. We have two Bethlehems, uh, and even in uh, in the etymological name, uh, the etymological name of Jesus, Emmanuel, which means the with us, and Il is known to have been the God. the Most High God of the Canaanite mm. Phoenicians. Uh, so a lot of things. I put there in the book uh, Jesus the Phoenician to prove that uh, as uh, Jesus being Phoenician uh, and even the idea of resurrection, we don't have it. It's not there in Judaism. We, uh, the idea of the Son of God is not there in Judaism, uh, whereas you can find it in Phoenician and Egyptian uh, tradition. Uh, yeah. I have a question here for the audience. When you say Phoenicia, which countries are you referring to in general? Because we will discover You're that there are, me? yes, which countries uh, are in Phoenicia? Because as we discover, and as I'm doing uh, research on history, apparently a huge number of humanity now today has roots as Phoenicians. They are not yeah, just... That, yeah. There are not just a few yeah, because, bunch of people in the Middle East. So Phoenicia yeah. extends to where? Where does it extend, Phoenicia? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the Phoenicians were were basically in Lebanon, in ancient Lebanon. Part of Canaan, Phoenicia is Lebanon. Uh, it reaches Al Arish of Egypt. Uh, in the time, it uh, some of part of Syria nowadays. Uh, it's a huge place. I mean, and the Palestine, land of Canaan, Palestine as well. And Palestine, Palestine as yeah. well. Yeah. 
Okay. Exactly. Uh, and because the Phoenicians were the seafarers, were the pioneers, were the, the seafarers, they uh, seeded their knowledge and their DNA everywhere around the world. Yes. They reached the they they reached Africa. They reached uh, UK. Europe. They reached uh, UK. They reached uh, the US. Uh, and that's that's why when we see in ancient uh, mythologies that people came from the east in, on ships and they gave us knowledge, as Graham Hancock refers to that in his series, mm, mm -hmm. but he refused to admit that they were the Phoenicians. Mm. Uh, this is one of his problems. Uh, a lot of people have problems with identifying, uh, with saying the truth completely. Ooh. We're not going to point fingers now. We're just going to put the pieces yeah. of the puzzle and we will later see how everything somehow fits. This is how yeah, I see it. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm just yeah. uh, recorrecting yeah. because yeah. because it's obvious that the Phoenicians were the first seafarers and who brought knowledge and they see that uh, everywhere. Uh, in, in the, <clears throat> for example, in, in, uh, in the United States, in Salem, New Hampshire, they found the temple of, for Baal and they connected the temple to uh, Stonehenge in the UK and, and directly to Beirut because we had stone circles in Beirut. Uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, Britain, Britannica, the ancient name of Britannica is Bartanach, which is the land of tin where the Phoenicians had a reservoir of tin. Uh, mm. And we have Marseille, for example, in France, it's called Marseille, the port of Il. So the Phoenicians Karin? were everywhere. Yeah, uh, and I saw a documentary talking about the sea people, the sea people. Karim, could we put a frame time of this civilization? How many thousand years ago was it? So in short, what Karim is saying, if we look at it, or if we look at any historian's theory, hypothesis, we notice that we are all related. We are all one big family that extended in a way. <laughs> There is no division, yeah, no separation. Yeah. I mean, I might have yeah. a grand, grand, grandfather in the UK, a grand, grand, grandfather in, in Africa or in China or, yeah, this separation of no, I am European, no, I am this, I am that, may not be <laughs> the correct way of seeing things. So we're moving back to unity. So the Phoenicians, how long, uh, uh, how many thousands of years ago was the civilization, if you could trace it back? Well, according according to DNA, uh, I mean, DNA is done by geneticists, uh, for example, Pierre Zalua and uh, and others, they, they went back to identify the G2, the Phoenician DNA, to 13,000 BC. At Which least you are talking about BC. You are talking about the time when Atlantis was before the uh, cataclysm. You are talking about that time. The uh, the good thing now about history, why new things will unfold, because we have new science. The DNA you have now. Yeah. You, can, you can look up in the stars, and you can know. Like two thousand five hundred years ago, there was an earthquake here, a cataclysm. The, you can know everything, and then put the pieces of the puzzle together. So basically, hopefully, in the near future, we'll be knowing more about our history, and we'll be connecting more of the dots. Now, let's move history away from history. Yeah. I'm interested in Christ in Christ and Christ consciousness and you said something really important there was lots of misinterpretation in the Bible whether the way we interpret it the way we understand it you see we we were taught stuff that were wrong and then we understood them again with the light you know coming in this new way of seeing but if you read closely even if they try to explain things in a wrong way to us if you read in between the lines jesus gave lots of parables and examples and it's right there in front of you staring yeah. at your face <laughs> you just needed to see it so uh, and when you said about our dna they made us stupid so it's like wherever we tell these people we make them believe this they will believe but now we are awakening we are being reactivated exactly. again by the light 
And when we read and see and we notice there is something wrong in here, it doesn't match. So Christ said, I am the way. He is the way. I am the way. The way where? To our being uh, united again with uh, Father, okay? This unity. And when we talk about uh, Jesus, we are talking about Christ consciousness. He came to implement this Christ consciousness on earth and make it available to us to make the road, if you want, uh, closer to us. And uh, in my understanding, Christ consciousness, people are waiting for the second coming of Christ as in a person coming again and judging people. You are bad, you go there, you are good, uh, come with me. <laughs> they are waiting for the same scenario. Or the Christ consciousness, this awakening of Christ consciousness within us is the second coming of Christ. He already did his job. Jesus did yeah, his job. Yeah. So, yeah, tell us, yeah tell I us. agree with that. Yes. Tell us juicy stuff, Karim. Go ahead. The mic is yours. Tell us everything, things in the Bible. What would you like to share with us? Yeah, the, what, you, what you're saying exactly is the, is the truth. It's, it's, we're going into this collective consciousness, uh, which is the Christ consciousness. So he's not coming in, in physical body again uh, because he already came. And uh, but his his consciousness it's still there. It's projecting upon us uh, every day and every moment. You know, uh, it's about us to receive it, and we are uh, going through that now because uh, it's like you know what is the sign of Aquarius? It's baptism. You know, baptism. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going into the baptism. It's uh, in the age of Aquarius. Uh, when we will have uh, the Christ consciousness, one stream of consciousness, all the uh, whether you are a Christian or not Christian. So it, it doesn't have- This uh, is for everyone. This limited. is for everyone, yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because it's a universal thing. It's a, uh, it's a collective consciousness, not only uh, selected to certain people, but people actually, uh, should work on themselves, should understand that the, the job that they have to do is not only uh, waiting for this. They have to work. They have to prepare themselves. They have to, to start awakening uh, the energy in themselves. We are the temple. We are the temples, the temple of God. Uh, we're not... Uh, we're not just we're not here just as i said before the anunnaki came to uh, to destroy this temple uh, that we are uh, jesus came to liberate and to resurrect uh, he said if they destroy the temple which is him i will raise him up in three days so i will raise the body in three days so our role is to raise the consciousness in ourselves raise the energy it's in us don't uh, hide it uh, but actually, humanity should understand that the role is to become divine, like H.P. Blavatsky in her work, the founder of the Theosophical Society. Uh, she uh, said many times that every atom, every atom tends to become divine. Not only humanity is destined to become divine, every atom. Earth, Every atom Earth, is destined uh, to become divine. The yes, yes, exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah, and that's and that's how Pythagoras, in his teachings, he he said that Earth is described as a cube, and Pythagoras wanted to bring the cosmic heaven onto Earth, mm -hmm. so he placed a dodecahedron, a dodecahedron, which is a geometrical shape oh, like that represents. Yeah, that represents heaven, and it has 12 sides of pentagon. Uh, and he placed the dodecahedron on the cube, which means he brings the ether, the heaven, and place it on earth. And when the cube is unfolded, it became a cross ah. of seven square, which is mm -hmm. the symbol of the initiate. Mm. Every individual is becoming a cross. 
mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. the initiation happens. So Earth is a cube that is yet to be unfolded. So this is where the misinterpretation of the cross and of the second coming of Christ happens. Exactly. And we are reinterpret uh, reinterpreting all this in the new light. Because as I said before, uh, light is increasing on Earth uh, from the solar flares increasing. And now next week we have the spring equinox. Heaven will going to open up and ooh, our guides up there, we're going to be coming here. We have so much help from up there coming to help us, to help us awaken and, and go back to our divinity. You mentioned the dodecahedron. Uh, uh, are you familiar with Matthias Di Stefano? I like the guy. He talks about the dodecahedron and I did meditations with there. They did activate an activation again to the ley lines of earth. We, we meditated to reactivate the ley lines of earth and, uh, and uh, the, the, the symbolism of the Christ and the resurrection. We need to resurrect our own selves. People think someone exactly. is going to come from outside and do the work for you no we are here to become masters no it doesn't happen it doesn't happen like that yes to, be, to become like that. ourselves ascended masters we signed up for this to become ascended masters and uh we chose this challenge actually going to separation and going back to unity and ascending we chose that challenge and uh can you imagine karim when more people will awaken I mean, and they remember, and as we are talking, and it makes sense to us, now it wouldn't make sense to some people. We are still classified as in the blasphemy category, but when they awaken to their totality of self, what a great joy. Yeah, we, yeah, definitely. It would be. Yeah, definitely. And can you imagine the uh, living in a utopian way of life when we are living as brothers and sisters uh, here on earth all together, regardless of our religion, of our race, of our gender, of our whatever? You know, it's uh, we are definitely the plan is to is to become one. Uh, we call it unity. That I'm saying collective oneness because there is no. We can reach any of this. We cannot reach ourselves if we are divided, because the other is me in a in a, a different uh, shape or form. But he is me. I mean, we're all. If you look at us, all of us, we are all the same. You know, this is... uh, and um, we we have to break the barriers, the bra the barriers of race or ba barriers of religion, and start to think as one humanity. Uh, that has been misled uh, specific groups of people uh, who want to control us. Uh, like, the, for example, the politicians today, the organized religion, uh, the Anunnaki in the ancient days, um, there are always somebody who is who are this group of, of uh, secret societies, not all of them, some of them. Uh, their goal, their agenda is to break a human, you know, by <laughs> the separations, but, creating mm. the, you know, thing, all that, uh, but smart. And we have uh, I this think, uh, in this, us. yeah, uh, it got interrupted. What is in us, did you say? See? I, uh, are we getting, uh, uh, do you see me freeze or um, I seem fine to you, Karim? No, no, it's a, it's a bit going and coming, but I was saying that. that yeah, the, the last thing I'm you saying were saying, is that yeah. From, yeah, I was saying it's in us. I mean, the, the, the smart DNA is in us. We have to be smart because we are smart. We're not dumb. Uh, the, the organized the conditions, the, the geopolitical situation, the Anunnaki, all that were here to imprison humanity, you know, and to separate us by race, by gender, by everything. But we are one. That's what I'm saying. But we are, we are stronger. We, we are stronger. They, they, we already won. 
and they know yeah. it. We already won, and they know yeah. it. They were scared of the day that many people will awake, and they were scared of that specific day. And uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And... We did it, and there's nothing that's gonna bring things back to where they were. Uh, now, um, you, did you mention something, Karina? That's about... why. That's yeah. why people. That's why. Karim, I'm losing you. Yeah. That's why people. Yeah, that's why people. They, I mean, they should. And we are. One, they should work. We should work all collectively as one people to cross to divinity by being all awakened to the truth. You know, uh, and the truth is out there. Don't not, be afraid. Fear not, not. Out there, it is within. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. The la takhaf. Ana huwa la takhaf. Fear not. I am. I am. He. I am the one. So, uh, uh, I wanna just because you yeah, said because because yeah. fear 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 is one of the elements that using to control the masses. Exactly. You know? They played on fear, shame, guilt, low frequencies, but Earth is moving from yeah. fear to love. We are moving from fear to love again, from separation to yeah. unity. And you said something. Unity. Exactly. I, you said something very important, Karim. I need to repeat it because maybe the the it was a bit freezing. I just want to make sure that your words will be received, well received. What Karim said, Karim said something very important and that we believe in now. I am you and you are me and we all are all one. I don't understand when you have one small family, the nuclear family, they think they are the family, so they take care of each other, but the others, no, you are not my family. <laughs> no. This one is black, this one is white, this one is Muslim, this one is... No. You are all one sparkle of God. You came from source, from God, you separated like that, and you are here together. Karim is my mirror, I am his mirror. We are one. And, and when we reach that, there is no longer competition, there is no longer jealousies, there is no longer manipulation. It's a yeah. divine dance and harmony all together. And as you said, do not uh, be scared of doing the work. The energies now are going to help people. Uh, and the knowledge is within your DNA yeah. anyway. So the knowledge is coming from you, from the DNA, and it is coming from your ether because we are more than this body. We are energy bodies, okay? And we are multidimensional. Exactly. And the help is coming from above. 22nd, the equinox, uh, 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 heavens will open. It is called heaven's cross. It's the cross that the Christians were uh, waiting for in the apocalypse. So we will be start receiving help from our guardian angels, beings of light, and 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 so on. Karim, we still have two minutes. What it's? I mean, we can't get enough. Do you wanna? Do, do you wanna have uh, more recordings, or shall we resume? Or how would you like to wrap things up to with our audience? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't mind to have third, but I mean the internet is going and coming, and so that's yeah, why the I'm internet off, is, uh, uh, yeah, the internet now. Uh, the first recording was better. Uh, we will see. So, how would you like to wrap this uh, recording, Karim, uh, to our audience? What shall we leave them with the last word? Um, I, w I would say, I would say, I would say, yeah, I would say, either simply fear not. Fear not, because we are not here to be afraid of anything. We are strong and embrace love, love and light. Uh, you will feel better. And uh, this is the path that would lead to who you are in reality, sons and daughters of, of the light, of the exactly, divine. Exactly, exactly. And hopefully everything will happen in divine timing, in divine timing. When you feel challenged with new things, uh, things crashing out in your life, listen to these. The universe is pushing you to take another direction, change directives, keep your mind uh, 
flowing uh, Karim I want to thank you so much I think we can film together like hundreds of episodes <laughs> Uh, for thank you for part two of this uh, episode. Thank you for your insight, uh, for uh, all you have shared with us. Thank you, uh, thank you, Nadine. Thank you for having me. And uh, uh, to the audience, please do subscribe, uh, comment below, and share if you uh, like. And we will hopefully, uh, probably plan uh, uh, more recordings later. Okay, Karine. Uh, nice evening to you, Karine. Thank All right. you again. Thank you, audience. And bye-bye. Uh,